Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Whoa, Elizabeth Pocahontas Warren just woke up to a nightmare. She's going down. A self-described real Indian who is running against Massachusetts Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren is suing after city officials demanded he take down his signs calling her a fake Indian. The independent Senate challenger, Shivaya Durai, filed a federal lawsuit alleging his free speech rights were violated. Infamously described as Pocahontas by President Donald Trump, Elizabeth Warren has lied for years about being of Native American heritage to secure jobs, including one as a Harvard law professor. She's also refused genealogy tests to prove her heritage and Iodurai is finally taking her to task for it. According to The Washington Times, since March 17, Iodurai's campaign bus has sported two identical signs picturing himself and a rendition of Warren wearing Indian attire. Emblazoned next to the images are the words, only a real Indian can defeat the fake Indian. The bus has reportedly been stationed in a parking lot in front of an office building owned by Iodurai for more than a month, just a mile from Warren's home. Earlier this month, the Iodurai campaign received a notice from Cambridge Building Inspector Brandon Vigno that the signs lacked the appropriate approvals and permits, according to local reports in the Iodurai campaign. Vigno threatened fines of $300 per day plus additional legal penalties if the signs remain in place, according to Iodurai. But he's fighting back. We will not remove the slogan from our bus, Iodurai told The Washington Times. We will defend the First Amendment, and we will fight this egregious attack on the First Amendment, at any cost. Iodurai's campaign also said that the building code doesn't apply to the signs because they're on a bus, not a structure. Warren has faked being of Native American heritage for a long time. And even Cherokee genealogists claim she's lying and casts doubts on her story of her parents' elopement. The problem with Warren's story is that none of the evidence supports it. Her genealogy shows no indication of Cherokee ancestry. Her parents' wedding doesn't resemble an elopement. And additional evidence doesn't show any indication of her herring grandparents being Indian haters. Cherokee genealogist Twyla Barnes When asked in March whether she'd agree to calls for genetic testing to resolve the heritage controversy, Warren launched into a family history, as purportedly told by her parents and grandparents, before saying, it's a part of who I am, and no one's ever going to take that away. Of course, Iandurai's campaign has problems as well, such as his long-standing claim that he invented email. Iandurai supposedly faces long odds at beating Warren. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.